I'm sure by now you've heard of all those people stranded on I-95 in Virginia for up to 27 hours in their frigid cold vehicles, the 50-mile closure on the highway due to snow and ice. I'm going to tell you how you can be ready for this type of an event, especially now in the winter. Now, do you know some people have said to me they do not have an emergency kit in their car because they don't have room to store it? Well, you could store everything I'm going to tell you about under the seat, in the small side door holders, and in the glove compartment. First thing you need is an emergency Mylar blanket. It would be nice if you had one per person, even a couple more, and you can put them over the windows to reflect the heat back to you. Food is going to be very important. You could get the MREs, Meals Ready to Eat. You can get protein bars, bags of nuts. You can even get canned meats, such as tuna and canned chicken. But you're going to have to rotate that out and make sure things don't freeze. You're going to need a warm hat and warm socks. You're still going to be cold because you're not moving and the temperatures are falling. So it will be pretty neat to get what they call a candelier. They use, you can get the one that has three candles, but you only need to put one candle in, and the candle burns for nine hours, and it would keep your car fairly warm with one candle. It's not going to be too hot as it would be with the three candles. And if you have three candles, each one for nine hours, that's 27 hours. That's as long as these people were stranded for this event. I'd say get matches, but it's very easy to get them wet and they wouldn't be able to use them. So you should get one of those arc lighters. One of those arc lighters will fit in your glove compartment or it'll even fit in some cars have one of those glasses holders above the rear view mirror. You could just put it right in there and then you can all actually charge it with a USB cord in your car. Water is something you're really going to need, but it's going to be much harder to carry. You can get a few bottles of water from the grocery store and put them in the car. But one thing you probably should have is the life straw. The life straw will filter a thousand gallons of water, so it would be very good. And if you're stuck for 27 hours, you're going to have to go to the bathroom. So you're going to need toilet paper and wipes. But you're going to have to go right outside your car door, probably. But if you want to move away a little bit, and there's solid ice, you should have a pair of ice cleats in your car. You can get just really small ice cleats that strap onto your shoes, and they they will fit just about anywhere in your car. And then you're going to need a flashlight, because again, you're going to have to go to the bathroom during the night, and it's going to be dark, and you don't want to use up the battery on your car and turn on the headlights, so you're going to need a flashlight. All of these things are small and will fit in a box under the seat or in the trunk or in the various compartments in your car. I'm trying to keep the number of items to a minimum so you won't feel overwhelmed and you will put these into your vehicle. If you have a backpack, that's even better because it would all fit in the backpack and if you had to walk any distance, they could save your life. So these people had no help for hours. Make sure Especially during the winter, you always have a full tank of gas. Put these things in your vehicle now. Get prepared now. These people didn't think this could happen to them either. So let us know which of these items you consider most important. The MREs, a candelier, a flashlight. And also let us know in the comments anything else you think might be helpful. Please subscribe, like the video, and thank you for watching.